Okay. You know, I should just make one universal video and upload it every time this happens and just annotate the name of the town or the name of the guy. Basically the same shit over and over again. You have an individual named Freddie Gray. Now, I'm going to read his arrest record off the monitor because I can't print it out for some reason. There are at least 22 arrests and at least 15 of them are felonies. Bear with me. Possession of a controlled or dangerous substance. Malicious destruction of property, second degree assault. Fourth degree burglary, trespassing. Possession of a controlled dangerous substance, possession of a control, blah, blah, blah. Possession of narcotics intent to distribute. Possession of controlled dangerous substance. Illegal gambling and trespassing. Possession of marijuana. Distribution of narcotics, unlawful possession of a controlled substance, second degree assault, second degree escape. Possession of a controlled dangerous substance with intent to distribute. Unlawful possession of a controlled dangerous substance, violation of probation. Possession of a controlled dangerous substance, possession with intent to distribute. Unlawful possession of a controlled dangerous substance. Possession of a controlled dangerous substance with intent to manufacture and distribute. Unlawful possession of a controlled substance, possession of blah blah blah. Possession of a controlled dangerous substance with intent to distribute, violation of probation. Possession of marijuana. False statement to a peace officer, unlawful possession of a dangerous substance. Possession of a controlled substance with intent to distribute, two counts. What you have there is about 22 arrests. But each arrest can have about three or four charges on it. And his first arrest was... His first arrest was August 24th, 2007. His second arrest was five days after that. And his third arrest was the next day. His first three arrests out of 22 were in three days. Think about that for a minute. 25 years old, 22 arrests. Each arrest has four different charges on it. Assault, escape, lying to a peace officer, all drugs also. Now, the police know who you are. The, ba the guys that sell drugs, the guys that fight, the guys that are in gangs, the guys that are always in court, the police know who they are. Duh. My Donald Duck mug. Yeah. Now, he was in a neighborhood that was a notorious hangout for drug dealers. And every cop in this freaking city knows he's a drug dealer. Now, two cops are on bicycles. He sees them and runs. Now, when was the last time you ran away because you saw a police officer on a bicycle? They know who he is. They know what he does. They arrest him every day. So when they see him in a bad neighborhood running away, one plus one equals two. At one point his spine is broken. And I've heard everything from maybe fell the wrong way because if you have two police officers who weigh 150 pounds and they tackle you the wrong way and knock you on concrete, that's 300 pounds, 150 pounds per officer. I also heard that he might have been beaten with the fucking baton in the back. We'll get to that later. Now, there are people who have very poor problem handling skills. They also have no conscience at all. Now, when a black police officer murders an innocent white person in cold blood, they don't care. When a black person owns a business and provides for their family and that business is looted, they don't care. When 40% of all abortions are black babies, they don't care. When 90% of black murder victims are murdered by black suspects. 
Yeah. When a black suspect dies in custody, whether it is murder, justifiable homicide, an accident, or natural causes, black lives matter then. And what they do is they raid the, they rob the liquor store first. They go to the liquor store and loot it first. Once they've consumed all the alcohol in the liquor store, they do what comes natural. Fight, steal, throw rocks at cops, set fire to buildings. Total fucking chaos. The mayor decided to give them space to vent on the first night. And if you saw the first night, all the cops were on one block, all the looters on the other block, and let them have it. Let them set fire. They robbed it, they stole a couple of cars, Throw them to a bonfire, then set the cars on fire. They looted every fucking store. There was a Spanish guy. That's my grocery store. They took everything I have. I'm out of business. They burned the pharmacies. Now, if you're poor and you live in a bad neighborhood, having a grocery store within walking distance is life or death. Because walking is free. Taking the bus or taking a cab is expensive. And if you're poor, the fact that you can walk to the grocery store for free as opposed to drive in a cab or drive on a bus, that makes a big difference when you have your income very low. Especially the elderly and disabled with medication. The fact they have to go to the other side of town to the pharmacy as opposed to up the block, that makes a difference. Also, you have a $16 million senior citizen center which is about to open. Now, now it's not because it's burned. Now, the firemen, as the firemen were putting the fires out, they were stabbing the hoses. You know what? The next time you're trapped in a car, ask Mike Brown's mother or Freddie Gray's mother to get the joys of life. You know where I live? When you call for medical attention, the fire department gets to you first 100% of the time. The fire department will get to you, give you oxygen, and stabilize you, and then the paramedics come to take you to the hospital. And you know what? When your fucking building is on fire, and your babies are trapped in a blazing inferno, ask Freddie Gray's mother, and Michael Brown's mother, and Trayvon Martin's mother to go save your babies. Okay? Attacking the fire department while they're putting out a fucking fire is without a doubt unacceptable. Okay? Like, I want answers for Freddie Gray. So because I want answers for Freddie Gray, I'm gonna set my own fucking neighborhood on fire. Okay? Those are fucking animals. Okay? And there is no fucking excuse for this shit. Now, I said the last time this happened, and I'll say it again the next time it happens. Which is going to be soon. Where were these fucking parents? Okay? Like Michael, Michael Brown. Prime example. Where the fuck was your mother? Okay? Michael Brown's mother is upset her son got shot by a cop. Okay? Where were you when he assaulted the cop? Uh, uh, uh. Where were you when he robbed the grocery store? Uh, uh, uh. Okay? All these fucking parents... All these fucking parents, their babies are in jail, their baby got shot, okay? Where the fuck were you when your babies were stealing, selling drugs and robbing people and assaulting people? Uh, 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 Now, I'm going to put a link below and you know what I'm talking about. Got three and a half million hits already. One woman looked at a crowd of rioters. Okay, she's black. Six kids out of wedlock, unmarried, different fathers, okay? Cue the racial jokes. She sees all these rioters. And she notices one rioter with the ninja mask on, looks very familiar. So she walks up to him and she smacks the fucking shit out of him in the middle of the fucking street in front of everybody. And rips the fucking mask off his face and chases him down the road. Now, where the fuck were the parents like her? If Freddie Gray's mother was like that, this shit wouldn't have happened. And she even fucking said it. She's like, you want to be Freddie Gray? Okay, people don't assault cops because they want answers. 
People don't burn fucking stores to the ground because they want answers. People don't loot vodka and drink it till they binge and then just fucking sit the whole time. They, they don't want answers, okay? Those are fucking thugs. Now, remember what I said about how he got his injuries? It is alleged because another inmate said it. That when he was in the back of the van, he deliberately hit himself against the wall to cause an injury to himself. And now another inmate will not lie to protect the cop. Inmates will lie to protect themselves, and inmates will rat you out to get a reduced sentence. But no inmate is going to commit perjury to protect a white police officer when a black suspect dies, period. It doesn't happen. Okay? It doesn't happen. So the fact that an inmate said that Freddy banged his head against the fucking wall and may have hurt himself, that is believable to me. Because why would an inmate lie to protect a cop? I mean, inmates will tell you that the cop hit the suspect to get a new sentence. Inmates will say they heard you tell you, you confess to a murder to get a new sentence, but it doesn't happen. Inmates don't lie to protect white cops. It doesn't happen at all. Maybe a black cop beating the fuck out of a white suspect. Maybe a black prisoner would lie about that to the black cop. Maybe. Maybe, but no. I don't believe that. I, I believe the inmates telling the truth. We have to wait for the medical exams to come out and more information, but I believe he's telling the truth. Now, like I said before, where the fuck were these parents, okay? Okay? Now, kids these days need a fucking ass whooping. Okay? The problem is parents aren't beating their fucking kids. That's the problem. Okay? Parents, you gotta stop beating your fucking kids. Okay? Your kids wanna join a gang. Your kids wanna sell drugs. Your kids wanna rob a fucking store. You gotta beat the shit out of them. Okay? If, if parents beat the shit out of their kids, which is their job in the first place, 99% of the shit the cops deal with wouldn't happen. Okay? So when your kids throwing fucking rocks at the cop, when your kids join a fucking gang, you grab his ass and you beat the shit out of him. And you make sure his friends see. Beat the shit out of him in front of his friends. Beat the shit out of him on camera and put it on YouTube. Okay? When your kids act like a little fucking thug, you make sure you beat the shit out of him. Okay? Thank you. Now, before we close, we're going to play a game called What's in this box? Thank you.